Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out what's coming through for you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And here we go guys, so your energies, the sun, ace of cups, what a combination, your person's energies, six of pentacles, eight of cups, meeting energies, queen of wands, knight of swords, and bottom of the deck we see the seven of wands, which is an energy about a defensive stand or a little bit of resistance about something that is important and we may desire to protect just like this man is doing standing up and tall so that he can defend something that is meaningful and important for him from external factors you know So it seems, guys, that this is a flow of energies with a precise feeling about the necessity to protect a connection that can be considered as extremely important and the protection can avoid the fact that these Eight of Cups can become a, a permanent energy, you know? This is an energy that is pending, guys. Um, this living for an adventure it's uh, it's an option but there is resistance towards that kind of scenario so let's go for the spread and bottom of the seven ones we get the lovers so um, a passionate connection absolutely extremely um, important I would say considering also the ace of cups it's a choice, it's a heart over head decision with the lovers, not just a soulmate, um, a soulmate vibration. This is meaningful because um, with this combination, someone may feel like there is not enough time for them and for this reason they can consider the idea to move in a different direction. This may have even happened already and there is the desire to uh, reconcile in some sense. So this is quite uh, quite interesting so your energies guys uh, what can i say the sun ace of cups extremely beautiful two energies that are linked by the fact that they start from within the sun is the happiest card in the deck we can agree fulfillment and satisfaction but this is also an energy about the self inner happiness starts from within we need to learn as much as we can about this beautiful and powerful virtue and when we have mastered it we can share it with a special someone or a circle of persons that are important in our life in our journey and this can be a source for inspiration it is beautiful it means that we are able to um, recognize 
where our true happiness is and we act upon it kind of being able to amplify these extremely high vibrations the same is true for the ace of cups an energy that is love driven self-love as um, the beautiful core quality that we can find within the ace of cups of course it can be a brand new beginning in love it seems more than a brand new beginning it seems um, an offer to do things in a new way this is an energy that can be about healing in this case healing in favor of a connection extremely meaningful but challenges may have come to play um, because it is part of the journey of course but uh, this is quite quite an offer overflowing of emotions uh, considering the lovers extreme passion sincere feelings um, deep emotions truly something that we may desire to protect so this is meaningful it goes along with the queen of wands i feel and i am not surprised to see an energy like the knight of swords because with this combination for some of your persons guys the feeling was pretty clear since the very beginning um the six of pentacles for me is a fair and fair exchange an approach that um, can offer satisfaction in favor of the persons that are involved in this um, situation it's the way to avoid one of the downsides of the energy the one man up one man down dynamic that that can create um, unbalanced interactions it seems a matter of time as i was saying um, for whatever reason possibly um, everyday duties for example this person may have felt neglected of the time that they may have desired to share with some of you this eight of cups is extremely interesting because at the very least the feeling is about an idea leaving behind something that couldn't fulfill art and soul after a deep and meaningful decision because this man is ready to go all out on an adventure to pursue his own ultimate emotional fulfillment it's a brave decision he is willing to leave behind eight cups so that he can pursue the 9 and 10. Again, this may have happened to some of your persons because they felt... Um, they felt neglected, yes. Not enough time uh, shared with some of you. But at some point, this Ace of Cups came to play or will come to play and they may change their mind because the knight of swords is uh, an energy that is ready to rush in extremely quick sudden and fast even unexpected now considering the factor that the knight of swords can be about harsh words they may <laughs> have some way to express a certain disappointment allow me to say and that's why the resistance can uh, resonate with the fact that they will uh, let some of you know that they did not agree with the previous way of doing things but there is love there is passion with the queen of wands so the lovers is truly a heart overhead decision in favor of the connection there is the desire to protect it because it is extremely meaningful it's a chance to amplify uh, inner satisfaction inner happiness but at the same time if some 
one man up, one man down dynamic um, was manifested before, we need to take care of it. So it doesn't mean that you were the one that was not paying attention to this person. Possibly this can be also about them, meaning that tasks and duties uh, may have prevented them from the um, chance to fulfill the desire to share moments with some of you guys. And so they were called to uh, evaluate the chance of moving in a different direction. But then communication rushing in, so a chance to talk. This Queen of Wands is a beautiful energy, extremely confident, attractive. She knows how to navigate throughout all the interactions that she can be involved with because she is in touch with her intuition. She has a black cat as a best friend. So intuitively guided. There is a knowing basically that can be in favor of the connection because of the lover's energy. This person may change uh, their mind basically if they have um, decided to pursue different scenarios, they may reconsider that. Or if a pause, a standby was involved in the situation, energy of communication rushing in. Looking for a more balanced approach. This is a matter between uh, two persons no external factors can uh, be an influence. The heart overhead decision um, can be considered as one shared between the two main characters in the uh, lover's partnership, you know? Deep evaluation, trusting some type of knowing, some intuitively guided um, insight i would say and then this energy will rush in the knight will desire to talk with the queen of wands so that they can join forces again this can be the opportunity to embrace this brand new beginning allow me to say but this is not a brand new connection these two persons, basically, some of you and some of your persons, um, deeply know each other and sincere feelings are involved. So let's see, guys. I will leave it at that for now. I hope it was helpful. I'll continue on Vimeo. See you there if you want to join me. The link is below. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Guys, take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.